Hey y'all, welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. I'm going to be installing these gong lights next to our headboard that we made. There's a link in the description if you want to make this headboard. And uh, it's really simple. I'm just going to tie in to the outlet that's behind our nightstand. And I'm just going to get the power. I'll be making a hole on this for like a little clicker button so that we can turn it off and on. Uh, it's 14 inches from the headboard over and 47 from the ceiling down is where I'm gonna put my plate. Um, then you can just see the process. So I'll be using these drywall anchors. They're just, uh, I think, I'm not sure how much they're rated for, but these are the ones that I have. I'm using this. Is this 14 too? This is Romex. These are LED lights, so it doesn't need to be that crazy. I'm also going to be using my oh, yeah, yeah. Apex from Crescent. It's called the E Shock Guard, meaning you can use your drill and you can screw in. You want to use the screws on the plug. You don't want to just jam them in the back. And then I'll be using this to screw this on. Even if it's live, your drill is safe because the current won't pass from here over. I'm just gonna fish this 14 down. My plug is literally right under it. Just leave it there. Now we're gonna move over to the plug. So we're gonna be installing this new plug here. Gonna remove this. This one just has a USB for our phones and stuff. Get your gloves on. Always messing with the electrical. I don't turn the breakers off because I built the wall that covers the breaker box and I'm not gonna remove it. These gloves are from Klein. Klein tools, they're electrical gloves. So I'm gonna be, this is the pop-in box that I installed when we were remodeling this room. I'm going to be removing it so I can get the wire inside the box. So, this is the wire that I fished down. I'm just gonna feed it into the... This is what you do not wanna be doing. I did not know this. See how you can push, just push them into the back of the plug? You don't wanna do that. They're not reliable. See how that's not reliable? Just comes right out. That's not reliable at all. So while I'm working on this, I am going to put a cap on this. So I don't get shocked.
white goes with white the black goes with black sometimes they're brass the brass goes with the black swivels ours switch is going to be there we're using this it's called rotary on off switch because these cones didn't come they didn't come with the off and on button and I don't want to put a plug I mean a switch on the wall so we got these from Home Depot they're called rotary on off and they're basically one of these and all it's doing is breaking the black wire. That's all it's doing. So the black wire that comes from the plug that go, comes up to the scone, this black one here, this one supposedly goes directly, directly down, right, to the plug. Well, it doesn't. You're gonna plug this one in to one side of this rotary on off switch. The other side is gonna be plugged in to the 14 2 white wire that's coming out of the wall right here. So if I plug this one into this, this one into the light, and then the white one to the white one, the ground to the ground, all I did was just break this black wire instead of just plugging it in directly. All I did was just break it apart, and this switch is going to connect it on, it's going to connect it off, disconnect it off. It's basically what a switch does in the regular house, all the switches. All it does is just break the black wire. The hot, breaks the hot. So, time to drill. I'm just gonna drill a little pilot hole first. Get the small drill bit. I'm using a 12 volt. I'm doing this on the, on the carpet, by the way. One thing I've learned from drilling on metal with drill bits, I go slow because it makes a cleaner cut and it doesn't burn out your bits. If you just like move it, you know, switch it and go like super fast, it's gonna burn out your bit. You're not gonna start it right. You're probably gonna mess it up. It might jam up. It's better to go slower with the metal ones. If you're doing like a thick metal, I recommend putting some kind of a drilling oil or something in front of it so that it doesn't burn your bits out. So now we just find the size that fits to it. I'm assuming it's that thick one. It is. So it's the biggest one that I have, 3 8 So this rotary on off from Home Depot, the brass one, you need a 3 8 drill bit. 
So now I'm going to go in from the back. So I can have more control. And I won't scratch the, uh, the face of it. going to go on through the front now so that I don't bind the bit to the middle then what I do once it jams up like that I put it in reverse tear and then I and then I just kind of keeping your hand away if the drill bit goes through my hand does not get jammed with the bit because that would suck Okay, I'm all the way through now. Okay, so I tighten this back on. This is what it looks like. Put my own hole. I measured from here to here, and then I just marked the center, and then I just did from here, from this screw, mounting screw, to this mounting screw, right in the middle, right under this. So it's all kind of symmetrical there. So, these little rotary things, it comes with like a stop. So depending on how far, how far out you want it to stick out, I'm only I only want very minimal, very minimal to stick out. So it's a little tight. Might be a little bit more of a drill bit, but I can screw it in there. Careful not to strip the threads because then your shit your other one won't go in that's basically all i want to stick out then you're going to put your little lock lock nut there over the top of it tighten it down i'm gonna keep going a little more just so it'll look a little bit better okay i am happy with that way that looks so it's a little off crooked, so I'm just gonna straighten it out. Okay. Put your gloves on. Remember this is hot. This is already plugged into the bottom outlet. So right now I'm just gonna test the light bulb. So the light goes to one of these. Other side goes to the black. Very careful with this ground not to touch the other black. It works, guys. Off, on. Make sure you connect your grounds together. Bam. So all we did was connect the black live coming from the wall to one side of this switch and then the light black to the other side of this switch. And then this makes the connection, you just turn it, bam. Sick. Oh yes. Off, on, bam. And that's it, just install it on the wall. These screws, I made a hole on the sheetrock going back so you can push, you can reverse them, or you can make them come out. However you, however you decide to do that.